Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we're working to try to counteract the effects of the fact that we were denounced, which is the Empire Sprawl issue, building some more administrative offices around various planets that actually have open slots to put them in. I don't know how much they're actually going to help, but you know what? Even if it helps a little bit, it'll be fine. Also, we are... Um, Still trying to get the fleet into position. And we were able to complete some research. It actually means we now need to upgrade the fleet for the first time in a long time. So we're probably going to have to redistribute everybody once they're done upgrading. But, you know, that's fine. And we have finished the first stage of the Stellar System Craft and begun the second stage, which is starting to consume our attack moons. And, um, yeah. So we'll see. I'm not sure we're going to get that finished today, but you know, we should be able to make some significant progress there. So, we're just going to keep on working. Yeah, 13th and 14th fleet are attack moons. Our ships have been made superior. That's the eighth fleet. Our ships have been made superior. I'm going to bring the eighth fleet down. Here. Our ships have been made superior. I think the sixth and the seventh fleets were Our also ships there. Have been made superior. Now the first through fifth fleets should be able to upgrade here in the screeching abyss. And they are. Okay, so they didn't go anywhere. Our ships have been made superior. Okay, there's the 6th and 7th fleets. Let's get them back where they need to be. Our Fortunately, it was just a short hop through the Primordial Pylon network to get us there. So that's not a problem. I'm probably going to bring the rest of the Our fleet have been made down here. Oops. At least the rest of the primary combat fleets. Because of the primordial pylons here, they can move relatively freely. So. It should be fine. Our ships have been made superior. We did finish repairing that ruined science nexus, so that's done. And we're working on the ruined mega art installation. Sandra Exiles have built a gateway. We're also working on a gateway. In the Screeching Abyss. Alright, and you are working on building stuff. There's a lot. Well, that it's a bountiful system, so of course there's going to be a lot. All right, the derelict primordial pylon in this system has been activated.
Just looking at all my numbers. Making sure we're okay. And everything except that Empire Sprawl is fine. But apparently nobody is willing to repeal that law that impacts it, so. Oh well. Uh, something happening? We've been frozen there for a minute. Something may be happening because it's not a month transition, it's not a year transition. Or not. The game just decided to think for a little bit. That's eh, alright, I guess. There is an unexplored natural wormhole. Oh, that's. That's a neutron star, right? Unexplored natural wormhole. Oh. Well. Do we have a science vessel that might be available? I believe we do. Go ahead and explore that, that uh, wormhole. Why not? All right, continue upgrading these new star bases that we acquired. Nasu Station. No, let's just go with shipyards here. Actually, a shipyard and an anchorage, and then an upgrade. There you go. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, mega structure build speed forty five months. Is there anything else in here that I really, really need? Minerals from jobs, eh. unit equipment damage, defense platform hull points. You know what? Let's go for it. Like, what is the combat power of the actual station here? 293,000. Is there anything I can do to improve that? Titan assembly yards, colossal assembly yards. Uh... Defense grid supercomputer allows eight more defense platforms. Okay. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. Let's get those defense platforms upgraded. Uh, 
loyal brood Zarklands Pilgrims. Okay, and we're going to keep Zarklands Pilgrims in the home territory for the time being. And attack moon. I think it ate two attack moons. Maybe it'll eat three. One of these attack moons has no power. Interesting. Are you building primordial pylon construction site in the screeching abyss? Ah, right. We actually finished the gateway construction site and that is rolling and we're building a primordial pylon construction site, which is going to be done soon ish. Alright, there's our primordial pylon construction site. Go ahead and get the actual pylon built. Neutronium Gigaforge has been finished. Excellent. There's another, what? Thousand per month alloys. What I want you to do now. Is finish this uh, interstellar assembly. Get that repaired. Actually, how long was that going to take? 850 days? Mm, okay. Uh, wormhole explored. Well, then I want you to go through that wormhole. There we are. Ah, void clouds. Right. Well then, uh, jump back to the wormhole. Could use a fleet. 
12th fleet, perhaps? Oh, you can't jump. How long will it take you to get there? 88 days? Okay, that's no big deal. Actually, can I just tell it to just to travel through that wormhole? Yeah. Because that is another neutron star that I can gain access to. to uh, unpause it. There we go. There's a Giga Industrial ship. Do we have any just normal construction ships? Yeah, I want you to fly over here. Four mega structures. I can only think of three. We have the Behemoth Planet Craft, which is almost done. We have the Ruined Art Installation and the Ruined uh, Assembly. There must be something else being built that I can't... Oh, right. No, those don't count. The gateway and the primordial pylon do not count. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. I can't remember. Because the Nidavellir Hyperforge is done. I don't think I'm building any more Neutronium Gigaforges. Oh well, I'll just wait. Because that uh, behemoth planet craft is almost achieved. done. Alright, shield hit points is up. And you have an attack speed. Two days till it's done. All right, there we are. Go to the Magnus system and get ready to be integrated. All right, so now what I want to do Hyperstructural assembly yard and construction site. This one's been in complex of shipyards and anchorages, capable of rapidly One assembling entire armadas. Construction complete. Battle is joined. 
All right, gateway is constructed. Battle is joined. Ah. It's just the void cloud. It won't uh, pose any threat or problem. At least it shouldn't anyway. Yep, there we go. Done. Spraycraft damage. All right, that means that you can head back to that system. And then you can head over here and survey that system. And we're probably going to want a construction ship to head in that direction as well. Might as well. Alright, so we now have a gateway in the Screeching Abyss system. That's good. The Primordial Pylon will finish in 247 days. So the other attack wounds are also being flagged as anomaly found. One military power. Okay. Uh, go ahead and research it. Three hundred and fifty-three days remaining. It was the shepherd system, right? Yeah, 224 days left on that. And you are building that hyperstructural assembly guard, yeah, construction site. I mean, there is a couple of molten worlds here, which could be used for something, but I haven't needed to build any more crystal megabores for a while, and we aren't going to need to build new crystal megabores anytime soon. At least I don't think I'm going to have to build any new crystal megabores. 
Deep within a crevice of the giant asteroid M45498, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid. It stands abandoned, with no sign of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it, but we must hurry before the random debris crushes it. Uh, I guess we'll try and stop the machine. We need a construction ship in orbit in a thousand days. I know I have a construction ship that is on its way and should arrive momentarily. Wait, I think you're going the wrong place. Right? Yes. You can't jump far enough to get to that system. It's alright. It'll get there in time. Alright, hyperstructural assembly yard construction site is complete. Get the hyperstructural assembly yard inner ring built. How long will that take? 858 days. Alright. Look through my star bases again. Tillinus, the order has begun the construction of a vast long range sensor array. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. will take 60 days to run that special project. Yeah, it's going to get there in plenty of time. And that behemoth, that uh, behemoth planet craft is slow. Hopefully, this thing is not as slow, but I'm not that optimistic.
Alright, scientist leveled up. Alright, but I think we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. So we'll hopefully be able to finish a few, or at least get stages complete on a few mega structures. Like, we should be able to finish the ruined mega art installation. Uh, the ruined solar assembly. Yeah, we, should, we might be able to get that finished. And then I'll have to see what else I might want to build. Alright, but for now, we will stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.